Hi guys, Graham here again, just your weekly catch up. Um, as I said, for the month of February, we're talking about the uh, 110 Slim with DC to DC. And the first week I talked about the uh, setting up of the DC. The second week was about the, uh, the BMS uh, input, uh, output side, I should say, and the internal uh, circuit breaker and fuse built in. So this week I just wanted to touch on the BMS itself. So the BMS is all hand built here, as is the battery uh, locally in Brisbane, in Australia. So it's a, a local um, business that we've got here setting up and uh, building these batteries. And the BMS is built here, it was designed, engineered and built here as well for Australian purposes. It's not something that just comes as a, a uniform board from overseas that everyone just puts into their batteries and, and wires it up. We've actually had it made specifically for the conditions over here. It's a lot heavier, robust, uh, aluminium um, backed unit uh, and all conformed on the board. Uh, all MOSFET as well, so um, no actual moving parts in, in that regards. So the BMS itself, uh, the job it does do is it protects the battery from over voltage and under voltage. So obviously uh, anything below um, 15 volts or above 15 volts is, is where your protection kicks in. So anything below 15 volts is all, all well and good. Above 15 volts, it will kick in and put the battery into protection so you'll have no output. Obviously, generally you don't normally get over 15 volts out of anything you want out of a DC to DC or a, uh, a battery charger or, or anything like that if it's all set up correctly. But if something does spike, it's just there to protect it and, and it shuts it down. So, um, and then once, once it reverts back to normal, it'll kick back in. It also does that for uh, a safety guard for lower protection as well. So you'll find that the um, BMS will shut the battery down at 10.5 volts. Um, once it does do that, with the built-in DC to DC, if you started the car back up, it will just fire back up and start charging again. If you had a battery without the DC to DC in and your battery BMS does activate and shut the battery down from too low a voltage, you may experience, or we've had people ringing something going, oh, the battery's dead, I can't charge it, it's faulty. It's not. Um, all BMS's jobs are there to do is protect the battery. And if it does get to a critical low, it shuts the battery down. What happens is with a lot of aftermarket chargers, whether it be aftermarket DC to DC, or an external AC charger, if you connect it to a battery and that charger doesn't see a load from the battery, it won't output anything. So even though the battery charger can be on, it won't actually output. So people think it's the battery not accepting a charge. It's actually the opposite way around. It's the fact that because there's no charge in the battery, the battery charger that's trying to supply charge to it doesn't know it's connected to a battery, so a safety feature, it shuts down. You don't want to go plugging in a 30 amp charger into your 240 volt and then just have the leads hanging around on the, on the outside and having you know the possibility of that much power hanging around. If it touches on a metal bench or they arc together, it causes a big spark and can short things out. So therefore then if it's not connected to a battery and it doesn't see a load, it doesn't think that it's on. So in that case, you have to fool the charger into thinking it's connected to a battery. So you may need a little small battery device to put across it and do so. But that's the advantage of this unit with the DC built in. You don't have to do that. It automatically fires it up. So the BMS, as I said, will shut it down at 10.5 and also above 15 volts. So that's the circuit protection. It also has temperature and thermal protection. It'll shut it down if the battery cell inside gets above 60 degrees. So if you're trying to you know, ramp 100 amp charge in it continuously and it's an extremely hot day, the battery's gonna get you know, too hot. The cells get rather hot. So therefore then as a safety device, the BMS will shut the battery down at above 60, vo uh, 60 uh, degrees C. And it also shuts it down at zero degrees C. Now it only shuts it down at zero degrees C when it's charging you can still use the battery down to below 20 degrees to pull power out of it. You just can't put charge back into it until it gets above ambient zero degrees temperature. So generally anywhere between zero and five degrees, you'll find the BMS will then reactivate and allow charge to go through to the battery. So that's just a safety device so that you don't have something that's you know, virtually frozen inside and then you try and shock it and put a whole heap of current and voltage straight into it. It just like really shocks it. It's like going and pouring, you know, boiling hot water onto your windscreen in your car when it's got ice on it. Um, yes, it'll melt the ice, but more than likely it'll crack your windscreen because it'll just try, it'll just shatter because you, you, you're taking it from one element to the next element too quickly. So that's the job of the thermal protection for over temperature and under temperature. Um, and uh, 
you know, then also we said about that um, circuit breaker for um, overcurrent. So if you do put something on there and it does say the main cable uh, from here to your load shorts out, it'll shut down to protect it so that obviously those that cable doesn't just keep pulling um, power and uh, going to ground and creating resistance and getting hotter and hotter and hotter and potentially causing a fire. So it'll shut the device down um, in doing so. Or if you try and pull, you know, put a 2000 watt inverter onto it and pull 150 amps through it and, it and the BMS is only capable of 100 amps, it'll just shut it down. So that's the job of the BMS. So it's protecting the battery and, you know, it's, it is an expensive um, piece of kit and, um, you know, you want to protect those. So that's what the BMS's job is there to do, but it also protects it, the battery as well as the environment that's in, whether it be in your carav caravan or your car, trailer or boat or whatever. Um, it's just an overall bit of peace of mind knowing that your battery and your electrical system is protected within the uh, in the vehicle. So there you go. There's a little bit more information about our BMS that we run in our batteries. Hopefully that's uh, giving you a little bit more insight. Uh, and until next time, see you then.